Margaret from League City has a question about a raised dining room. Well, it's five inches of concrete poured at the time when they did the foundation to the house. Mm. Margaret writes it. Also has an extreme Six, hazard. Sixties, by the way. Sixties. You think so? <laughs> it the 60s. Probably so. All right. Well, anyway, Shag carpet. Many no. people. Yeah. <laughs> Groovy baby. Woodstock. All right. Many people have fallen or stumbled. I bet. Out of her dining. Now we have that same problem in our dining room too, but only after a lot of wine. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, she says, I know it needs to be tied into the foundation. It must be. She says, you know, with rebar, epoxy, or something in the middle, and it's in the middle of the house. Mm. So Margaret wants to know, Tom, can it be removed? Without damaging the foundation, how would you do that? I know you're not going to remove that thing. It's it's going to be almost impossible to do. Could it be removed? Yeah, it can be removed. Can the foundation be saved afterwards? Yes, it can be saved. Is it going to cost you a ton of money and make a mess? Absolutely. Oh god, I'm not go there, but uh, it can, it can be jackhammered out. Is it all done in one pour? Is what it is. Whether it has rebar or epoxy doesn't make any difference. That was all done in one pour when they poured that foundation. So you'd have to jackhammer it all out. You'd have like a crater there, and then you'd have to refloat the whole thing flat. And could it be done? Yes. Uh, is it going to be expensive? Yes. Is be messy? Of course. But I don't know. Would if it's you worth ever it. get the value back out of doing no, it? No, there's Not no value a at all. Uh, but as far as the the '60s and early '70s when they mm -hmm. were doing this with dining rooms was one. Uh, it also goes to the one step down to the sunken living room, which was two. <laughs> it was kind of like they were just <laughs> yeah. getting all in levels. And how about down. this one they did back then? They would put the bed oh, yeah. on a platform. Oh, yeah. So as you step down once, you break your ankle, step down twice, going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So <laughs> it just away. wasn't a good idea. <laughs> don't do it again, but it's it's a problem. Yeah, don't do that. Mm -mm. But, James, you could do, Margaret. You could just go with it and get put give the whole house like a 60s theme. I think yeah, and when you fun. can use safety yellow paint. I was using it just the <laughs> other day true. and paint it around and have a little beeper beep 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 when you get close. I like that. Watch your yeah, <laughs> work almost as good as that. Watch your head thing that you, you hit head. every time. Oh yeah, I gotta read that. <laughs> yeah, right. No, oh. it's a problem. Need some more, but we solve them. That's what we do these videos for to help you solve, solve your problems. <laughs> okay. You can solve a whole bunch of them just by watching some more of these videos at homeshowradio.com. They're located under the Ask Tom tab. And you know, sometimes yeah. it's just a for sale sign. It is. That's all, problem that's, solved. That's your number one home improvement tip. <laughs> yes. You don't like it? Sell it. Make it somebody else's problem. <laughs> that's it. Because you know what? Somebody will come along and look at that thing and say, That's the coolest thing in the world. I love it. <laughs> yes. Sign here. <laughs>